Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Pixel Echo. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I just got back from vacation yesterday. It was my first holiday in seven years. Had an absolute blast. And Pixel Gun 3D have just given me access to all the upcoming update features. Now it is obviously aimed towards Halloween. It is going to be another PGA season. So I'm calling this PGA 2.0. Now we're going to go through all of the images, weapons, armors, and even brand new gadgets. This will be your load up screen once you've updated to the 24.9 updates. Now these are obviously going to be the characters and skins you're able to unlock throughout the season. This right here obviously being the corrupted default Pixelman. And this up here, I believe this was part of last year's halloween updates when we were given the kitty cutie so it's highly likely going to be returning this right here i believe is going to be the corrupted exterminator but are they going to be weapons or are they going to be skins this right here i feel like i've seen this before but cannot remember the name of the weapon. And then we obviously have these ones as well. The next background is going to be what you'll see inside of the lottery. Once again, featuring Kitty Cutie. We have kind of like the smashed glass. So whatever was contained behind those walls has now escaped. And then of course we have another type of weapon. Next one we have is going to be the event background. So a brand new event set is going to be introduced. It's going to be PGA related. And this is the backgrounds that you will see. The last background I have for you is this one, which I believe is going to be part of a special event. Yes, another event is going to be introduced, but we'll get into that at the end of today's video. Moving on to the armor that's going to be available. This one is called armor underscore ruby underscore wings absolutely no idea how players are going to obtain this but i do like the look of it time for the avatars this is avatar brave gladiator i've always said pixel gun 3d have done a very good job with the arts in their game this is going to be avatar great gladiator next one we have is avatar pga 01 gatekeeper i kind of really like that one although that kind of somewhat matches the armor theme a little bit in my opinion the next one is avatar pga 1192 scarlet king i wonder if this is going to be a part of the event set or it's going to be unlockable via the pixel pass and this one is avatar pga top secret icon and then is there any more we do have one more this is one that i really appreciated obviously as a fan of Pixel Gun 3D, we can all relate to the Pixelman. This is Avatar underscore Pixelman underscore Survivor. Oh, okay. I like the lore behind that one. Do we have another one? This is the Avatar Ruby Assassin. Okay, so this one is definitely more linked to the armor sets, in my opinion. And then we have Avatar Souls Keeper Pumpkin. Again, their arts and the character skins are absolutely incredible nearly missed this one but this is avatar valiant gladiator so whatever they're doing it's obviously pga and gladiator themed i want your opinions on this one because this is cape underscore souls underscore lamp do you think this is actually going to be a cape on your back a very different kind of style from a regular cape in pixel gun 3d or do you think this is going to be one of those gadgets this looks very unusual. Looks a little bit more 3D compared to the capes we've seen in the past. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. You might not recognize this weapon, or in fact, you might. This is the Corrupted Underscore Destruction System. Now, once again, no idea if these are going to be skin related. I feel like if you're going to copy a pre-existing weapon in Pixel Gun 3D, those times are gone, right? I feel like in Pixel Gun 3D, if you're going to customize the weapon, it has to be through skin themes. This is the Corrupted Exterminator Icon. So again, going to be for the Exterminator. An OG weapon in Pixel Gun 3D that has withstood the test of time. And then this one, and a lot of people are going to like this, is the Corrupted underscore necklace of the ice king so yes there is going to be a new skin when i seen this at first i was like is this a gadget and then after a closer inspection you can kind of see the mouth here it's got some form of 
crystal in its mouth and you can see it's got like a computer screen going on there once again guys they do a really good job with their skin designs now there is going to be a brand new gadget it's this one it is the gadget underscore pga underscore 731 teleporting relic so another type of teleporting device in pixel gun 3d as a gadget but is this going to replace the previous teleporting one or is this just going to be a brand new type still waiting for the day that pixel gun 3d introduce a smoke grenade now after that we get into the battle royale stuff this is going to be the glider not entirely sure if people are interested in these anymore because they don't really look after the battle royale game mode so this stuff's kind of obsolete to me we do have the graffiti grave piece then we have anomaly compass so this is going to be an interesting one to me looks like a primary kind of weapon and this is going to be the enemy detector now i like the idea of an enemy detector but because pixel gun 3d is so fast paced in my opinion this is kind of an irrelevant attribute and kind of needs to be reworked a little bit but looks like it's going to be a very high fire rated primary this is the pga underscore 318 glass sculpture now i think we're starting to get into the pj weapons themselves which will probably be a part of some kind of event this has got a whole lot of things going on here is it going to be like a stream beam is it going to be like laser related is this in fact a sniper because that looks like some kind of scope i kind of like the idea of this i feel like it's going to have a very similar ability to some of the heavies that we've seen in the past so when it does hit you're gonna see like glass shatter uh kind of like the mirror something along them lines or, or, or a very similar weapon next we have the pga 0876 ancient tablet underscore shovel so are we going like prime uh, sorry melee with this with some kind of inflicted poison or pain or in fact bleeding i don't think it's going to be a battle royale shovel because I don't know they just not usually like this and then we have pga 6572 i'm sure you guys are gonna let me know in the comment section but this looks like a weapon we've definitely seen before but this is going to be a sword apparently so maybe you guys can categorize these let me know what category you think this is going to be in i think we can all agree this is going to be melee and let me know what you think this is also going to be. Uh, to be fair, I usually don't like the Battle Royale stuff anymore. But I really like this one. This is the Royale Car PGA 888 Error. I like this one. I hope like it kind of crawls rather than having wheels itself. This is a shotgun. Because it literally says Ruby underscore shotgun. Surely not. Or maybe it is. Yeah, you can kind of see here's a barrel. Here's a barrel. And I imagine on the other sides as well. Pixel Gun 3D can't go a single update without introducing shotguns. They absolutely love it. I'm kind of sad that they've got rid of the test event though, because this would have been really interesting to see some of these automatic weapons versus the so-called shotguns. This is the Soul Anger Icon. Now, maybe it's just me, but it kind of looks like a skin for the Laser Ninja, I believe it is. So I would say that this would be a sniper, which is really weird, guys, because I haven't seen too many weapons that could be a heavy. You could argue this, but you could also argue that it's a sniper, a melee, or even a primary. I know we have the destruction system. This is the corrupted one, which we know is going to be a heavy, but some of these, again, catering towards primaries, melees, snipers. This is going to be the trail that you can get. This is going to be the Weapons 1785 Gates Warden. I'm not even going to recommend what I think this could be. Because again, it feels like a primary. Feels like it could be a sniper. I do really like the colors on this though. Kind of think this works very well with like the ruby armor. Now this one's got me very intrigued. Because it's also called a shotgun as well. This one is Weapon 1793 Ultimate Ruby Shotgun. So, like, are we seeing the barrels on the inside of this? Two shotguns and one update. Hmm. Interesting. I think one's going to be a part of an event, which we will get into in a second. And one players might be able to unlock prior lotteries and things like that. And that is actually all of the weapons that are going to be available. 
But again, you probably noticed Pixel Gun 3D have been doing a lot of events over the past couple of updates. The same is happening in the upcoming season. So this is the information I was given. It does say events entrance. Players enter the mansion through a 3D door object in the lobby. We've had these for the past couple of updates. On the main lobby, something new is going to pop up. The event duration is going to be for two weeks, so it's 14 days. Progression and rewards. On the way to the main event prizes, players encounter three paths, each consisting of multiple stages that can be unlocked using event currency. Each time a stage is unlocked, players receive a reward. The rewards of each stage vary, allowing players to strategize with, uh, sorry, which path to pursue. Players are free to progress along multiple paths at the same time, but may be challenging to complete them all simultaneously. Especially since to unlock the final prizes, players must progress through all the stages on the chosen path in sequence one by one. So three stages, you can go off in different directions, but they all need to be completed. By completing one path fully, Players can unlock the final three grand prizes one by one. A cloak, an avatar, and a weapon. So one of the stuff I've showed you is probably what you will get. Getting event currency. Players earn the event currency by simply playing and thus unlocking the main rewards for free. Ghost-like symbols representing the currency will appear at designated points for collection. In matches, the higher players rank, the more event currency they earn. Players can also purchase event currency to speed up their progress while battling. Obviously, we know about that. Want to speed things up while battling? A special event booster can help with that. When players buy it, their event currency earnings will be doubled, making it easier to unlock rewards faster. The earlier players grab the booster, the more value they get out of it. But don't worry, if players prefer to take their time and play for free, they can still unlock rewards by progressingly uh, by progressing steadily at their own pace. The boosters just help along the way. So that means you could probably purchase things to skip ahead, but it looks like they're going to introduce a new type of booster. It doesn't outline if it's going to be paid or not, but judging by what they said, if players want to take like prefer to take it a little bit slower, then yes, I think there's going to be two two paid aspects to this. But don't worry, as a free-to-play player, you can still participate, which I'm not going to complain with. This is how Pixel Gun 3D should do things. Obviously, we don't all agree with the pay-to-win aspect, but as long as free-to-play players can participate, that is the main thing for me. It then says, Fateful Artifacts Event. Once players' mansions adventures wrap up, they will face a new mission. Saving the city of San Cisco from anomalies, the mayor requests the help of heroes to protect the city by gathering event currency dropped by defeated enemies, just like the mysterious shining event. Event entrance 3D portal in the lobby will lead players into the event. As they progress, a dome will appear over the portal, showcasing a hologram of the city. The event duration of this is going to be 17 days. Unlike previous events with time stages, this event is divided into four linear parts, allowing players to unlock stages at their own pace. Event currency stays the same across all four stages, making it easier to progress and unlock rewards. Grand rewards. Each unlock stages frees a different part of the city. Players will receive the main reward upon liberating all areas of the city. Does that mean all players have to go and play Sandblock Cisco and play the free mode? That would be interesting, actually. Both events offer exciting new gameplay experiences, pushing players to strategize their progress while collecting fantastic rewards. New reward chests. We're introducing refreshing reward chests, each with different rarities and contents to add more variety. This update, you'll start seeing them as rewards in events, tournaments, and pixel pass. More ways to earn these will come soon. We're also working on two special types of chests that are designed to contain valuable rewards and will also include weapons from past events as we want to give players a chance to acquire content they might have missed. I'm curious to know your thoughts about that in the comments section. More importantly, do you think past events and weapons should return? I'm a strong believer that if you grinded 
and it was a special limited time event, those weapons shouldn't necessarily return. But that's just me. And the final bit of information is Brawls Halloween Edition. To spice up the events, we're working hard to bring you thrilling brawls and spooky Halloween themed maps filled with action and rewards. Whether you're hunting for the top spots or just enjoying some Halloween chaos, these brawls will be hauntingly good times. And then we've got a little bit of map rotation, team fights, workshop, zombified office, and pumpkin hunting, deathmatch, block market, uh, block mart, slender forest is going to be returning, and four seasons, aqua park, and Chinatown night version will be disappearing i generally can't remember the last time we had a brand new map introduced with a pixel pass season pixagon usually do a very good job with the halloween related stuff so i'm quite surprised with that being said it's nice to see that brawls are returning although brawls have never been as good as they used to be back in the day maybe that's just my my thoughts anyway let me know what you think in the comment section hopefully i'll get my hands on this content soon uh, I'm just getting back into action after being away for a couple of days. So give me a little bit of time. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.